Mr. White, here comes your playback. January 1950, the Windy City. Johnny Bratton of Chicago is getting ready to meet the world lightweight champion in an over-the-weight bout. Bratton is a Chicago boy. The capacity crowd is on hand to root for this local favorite. Williams in dark trunks comes in at 143 pounds, heavier than at any of his previous fights. He has plans for moving up one division. In the third round, he catches Bratton and opens up a murderous attack. And there it is, the jewel of lightning that fractured Bratton's jaw. The lightweight champ moves in. He doesn't let up the barrage through two full rounds. He's got Bratton reeling and almost defenseless. He's got dynamite in both fists, but he can't seem to land the finisher. Eighth round, Bratton rallies gamely, and then his seconds who are worried about that jaw have the referee call the fight. The winner, Ike Williams by a technical knockout. Later, the sports world saluted the game Johnny Bratton, who'd fought five rounds with a fractured jaw. Yeah, nice.